Hello, my Biblio darlings, and welcome to Bibliothesia. My name is Mally, and Bibliothesia is a channel where I bring stories to life through reading them. Today's story is going, is going to be called The Magic School Bus Inside a Volcano. Now, before I read you the story, let's remind our body that we're safe right here and now. And we're going to do that through a 448 deep breathing exercise. And that means we're going to inhale deeply for four breaths. We're going to hold the breaths for four counts. And then we're going to exhale out the breaths like we're blowing out birthday candles or blowing out wind. And then the second thing we're going to do is I'm going to read to you knock knock jokes. The whole purpose of the joke telling is when our body laughs, it, it signals to our brain and our body that we are relaxing and relaxed. So with that, let's do the 448 deep breathing exercise. And in order to do, to do this, pretend you have a, a balloon inside your tummy and we're gonna, each time you inhale, you're gonna make that pretend balloon bigger and bigger and bigger. So with that, let's do the deep breathing exercise and inhale deeply for one, two, three, Four. And now let's hold the breath for mm, 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 mm. And now let's exhale out for eight, like we're blowing wind or, or birthday candles. Oh, I don't know about you, but that deep breathing exercise always may always reminds my body and it makes me feel so much calmer and now another way of relaxing is I'm going to bring over my joke book I'm going to read to you knock knock jokes are you ready here's the first one knock knock who's there lace lace who lace go fly a kite <laughs> that's so funny let's go fly a kite <laughs> And here's the next one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dawn. Dawn who? Dawn in the basement is where they hide all the presents. Oh, down in the basement. <laughs> That's cute. And here's the next one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Despair. Despair who? Despair tire is missing. Oh, the spare tire is missing. Well, let's read one last knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Who's there? Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes the police. Open up. <laughs> what did you think of that joke? Dishes the police. This is the police. <laughs> oh, with that, I think you are now relaxed with deep breathing and the jokes to hear another story. So today's story is called The Magic School Bus Inside a Volcano. And what I see is it looks like Magic School Bus is a Magic School Bus helicopter. And on the front, on the top, I can't read what it says. Beep beep, maybe, I don't know. And then it looks like they're flying over top a volcano that looks like it's just about ready to erupt with lava. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like it's already erupted because there's lava bits flowing out and flowing down the mountain. So, the magic school bus inside a volcano. This is going to be a cool story. I've never been inside a volcano. So let me remind you of the different students' names. There is Arnold and he's got blonde hair and he wears glasses. And there's Ralphie, and Ralphie wears a red baseball cap, and it's turned backwards. And then he's got a green shirt with a let with a red letter R on it. And then there's Keisha. She's wearing a purple sweater, and there's a blue stripe that goes this way diagonally. And then there's Phoebe, and she's wearing a red dress. And Carlos is red wearing a dark blue hoodie. And Tim is wearing a light blue shirt with a green trim around. And Wanda is wearing a pink shirt with a red vest. And D.A. is wearing a purple sweater. And D.A. has blonde hair. And she it has pigtails. So here is the first picture that we're looking at. 
Do you know Miss Frizzle? She is, she is a very funny teacher. Her dresses are funny. And look at Mrs. Frizzle's dress. It has volcanoes, which are blowing black steam out of them. And there's lava flowing down the volcanoes. And on her shoes, <laughs> oh, that's so cute. There are little volcanoes, and it looks like there's a puff of smoke coming out of them. And then it looks like Miss Frizz is wearing volcano earrings. Tim is saying, our bus is funny too, as it looks like he's designing something with a volcano. And it has there on the floor a volcano kit. It comes with clay, food color, baking soda, vinegar, and water. Maybe that's what you could try at home. Get some clay and inside put food color, baking soda, vinegar, and water. Maybe that, that will replicate lava f flowing out. And it looks like there's a poster and it says volcano. And it says um, all different parts of when a volcano erupts. And Keisha says it's the magic school bus. And the magic school bus has on it waiting. We are learning about volcanoes. Tim made one out of clay. He gets ready to set it off. So it looks like he's putting on the inside the ingredients of uh, food color, baking soda, vinegar, and water. But Tim is not happy. This is just a toy, he says. I want to, I, I want to work like a, I want it to work like a real volcano. Miss Frizzle says, let's go see one. Wanda says, it's fizzing. Carlos says, no, it's frizzing. Like for Miss Frizz. Miss Frizzle says, to the bus. And a word from Dorothy Ann. A volcano is an opening in the earth where very hot or melted rock comes out. Hmm. There are, there are always surprises with the frizz. When we get on the bus, it starts changing. Where are we going? Miss Frizzle says to the other side of the earth. I guess we'll have to fly. Guess again, we have a magic school drill. And on the school bus, it says drill deep. The magic school drill digs into the earth. We go through the earth's crust. It is mostly made of rock. We are digging through rock. I'd rather, I, I'd rather hear rock than dig through it. It's getting hotter as we go deeper. And they're, um, they're drilling through the Earth's crust. And then they're going to the mantle. Next, we go into the Earth's mantle. It is also made of rock. Very, very hot rock. Arnold says, is this bus very air conditioned? Carlos says, be cool, Arnold. Is the earth like a peach? Yes and no, by Carlos. The earth is not a fruit, but the layers of the earth are like the parts of a peach. The fruit is like the mantle, the skin is like the crust, and the pit is like the core. Earth's temperature. The mantle goes from 900 to 3000 Celsius. Whew, that's hot. The outer core, whoa, go, is between 3,000 and 4,000 Celsius. And the inner core goes between 3,000 and 6,500 degrees Celsius. Whoa, is that ever hot? Miss Frizzle keeps drilling. Now we're at the center of the earth, she says. It's called the core. Class, the outer core is liquid metal. My book says the inner core is solid metal. Oh, the core is even hotter than the mantle. It's getting hotter, Tim says, and hotter, says Ralphie, and hotter, says Keisha. Miss Frizzle, get us out of here, says Wanda. We drill out of the core and through the mantle again. Now we are on the other side of the earth. Wow, so there's a pipe, a magma chamber, and magma. We are close to the crust. We are under a big volcano. We see a giant hot puddle. Miss Frizzle gives us heat proof suits. And look at um, on top of the magic school bus. There's erupting volcanoes and big plumes of ash or like clouds of ash. 
Keisha says, that goo is red. Carlos says, it's hot. Phoebe says, it's messy. DA says, it's magma. Magma is very hot. These suits will protect you, says Miss Frizzle. Then she shouts, jump in, kids. What is magma by Wanda? Magma is melted rock. Magma is found in pockets inside the earth. The pockets are under or within the earth's crust. Wow, there's DA. <laughs> she has her book on top of her head. But I think that if she did that in real life, the book would melt like that or burn and, and disintegrate. Tim is the first one in. I want to see magma up close, he says. What is that rumbling sound? I think that's Wanda. No, that's Phoebe. Good question. Let's find the answer, says Miss Frizz. My stomach, my stomach is rumbling too. We look around. The magma is rising higher. The rumbling sound is getting louder. What will happen when the hole fills up? Let's watch from our bus and find out, says Miss Frizz. Can we watch it on video instead, asks Arnold. Oh, he looks very worried. More magma fills the pocket. It pushes us up. We blast up into a tunnel. Volcano by Tim. The inside of a, of a volcano looks like this. There's the vent, a lava flow. There's the pipe. And there's the, the magma pocket in the Earth's crust. Tim says the volcano is going to erupt. Arnold says, what does that mean? Carlos said, explode, blow its top, shoot us sky high. And the bus says, blast off. We shoot into the air. We float on a thick cloud of ash. Then the bus lands on a river of lava. Phoebe asks when magma hits, or says when magma hits the air, it's called lava. Arnold says when a school bus hits the lava, it's called scary. And Tim says this lava is red hot. Carlos says this lava is moving. And the bus says go with the flow. <laughs> we look around. The volcano is on an island. The island is made of lava. Lava that turned to rock. Bus, do your stuff. But the lava below has, hasn't turned to rock yet. The lava is moving too fast. It is taking us to the ocean. This is no time for a swim. Lava is behind us. A giant wave is in front of us. We are trapped. Watch out by Keisha. When a volcano erupts, it may cause giant waves that are called tsunamis. How to say tsunami? Tsunami. The frizz hits a button and we lift into the air. Now the bus is the magic school bus helicopter. We're going up. We're going away. Hooray! We fly over a lot of islands. Miss Frizzle says they are all volcanoes. There's a composite cone, a caldera, a shield, and a cinder cone. Wanda says they all look different. Tim says my volcano is a cinder cone. Hmm. Carlos says I'd rather have an ice cream cone. And Miss Frizzle says, no two volcanoes are the same. Back at the school, we make lots of models. There are different models of volcanoes, Tim says, but there's only one Miss Frizzle. And Arnold is saying, it takes brains to understand volcanoes. Wanda says, it takes more brains to understand Miss Frizzle's brains, Miss Frizzle's dress. And if we look at Miss Frizzle's dress, it's all about brains. What did you think of the magic school bus inside a volcano? It was pretty neat. Yeah. Well, we've come to that time where it's time to remind our bodies that it's calm. Oh, excuse me. And we do that through the deep breathing exercise. Are you ready? Okay. Let's inhale deeply for one, two, three, four. Now let's hold the breath for mmm, 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 mmm. And now blow out the air like you're blowing out birthday candles for <sighs> Those deep breathing exercises are so relaxing. 
and I'm going to invite you to do the same 448 deep breathing exercise for the next 30 days. And I'd like you to, to do it just after you wake up in the morning, at lunchtime, and just before you go to sleep. And, and let me know if you notice a difference after 30 days. Well, now I'm going to lean over and bring over my joke book and share with you three knock-knock jokes. Here's the first one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Distress. Distress who? Distress is fancy enough to wear to the ball. <laughs> like this dress is fancy enough? <laughs> okay. Let's look at the second one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dummy. Dummy who? <laughs> Dummy a favor and open the door. I'll get it like, do me a favor? <laughs> and here's a third and last joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Pulp. Pulp who? Pulp your pants, they're falling down. <laughs> like pull up your pants, they're falling down? Wow, that was so good. Now, I'm hoping you're feeling more relaxed. It's been wonderful spending time with you today as always. Now, remember to subscribe and to hit the notification bell so you will hear when the next episode or show is available. Now, as always, it's been so wonderful spending time with you. And until next time, bye!